The Church Worldwide, the global recovery vessel reaching millions of vulnerable souls all over the entire world with the voice of Christianity, bringing the message of salvation, healing, teaching and deliverance to the brokenhearted, pointing all believers and non-believers to the resurrected Christ in his full immortal body, which is the Church of the Living God, the celestial city of the heavenly in Jerusalem. You are all welcome on board with us. Please join us now as Dr. Edmund brings a message of faith, hope, and deliverance. I bind all the power of the devil. When he saw that horrible message, the following day she could not sleep. He might come out for her. Father Lord, I pray that you cast away every sorrow from the family of this uh, uh, caller. I pray that the power of the Lord should come upon him. I'm happy about it. I'm, I'm happy about it. 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 The center presents Victory Night Crusade. Fame, the bone shall rise again. Come for your total recovery from demonic oppression, barrenness of the womb, sickness. Come for your healing and total deliverance. The anointed servant of God, Apostle Edmund, shall be there in demonstration of the power of God by the Holy Ghost. Enter into the new year with new experience. Come for your joy, your miracle and testimonies. Entertainment by a special music team. Don't wait to be told. You are most invited. For more details, please call 07878-494-903 or 07961-855-588. Hello, God richly bless you, the people of God, we want to thank God for your lives, we, I want to thank God for your favorite season, your favorite season, the compliments of your favorite season, talking about Jesus Christ, everything tied up to our Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Now, by God's special grace, today is a very special and a serious day. Now, please, don't turn off the dial because there's a testimony coming. There's somebody who is going to give you testimony life. But before then, now I am going to read the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14, which says, uh, Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. And that is the compliment of your favorite season. You're most welcome to the moment of recovery. Now we are transmitting from the Kingdom Recovery Church Center of the Church Worldwide International, TCW. We are based at 49C Devonshire Road. Uh, the Forest Hill, and uh, you have come to such a season the clip you just watched on the crusade is a crusade you don't need to have any excuse because this could be that very moment that you've been waiting for in your lifetime it could be that time that time that thing you've been waiting for this is an answer of god to your request or to your desires this is the bonsha rose again crusade now many things happen when i go for crusade in Africa, in Europe, and places. But right here in London, there's a miracle that took place. 
And there's a lady who, you know, had opted willingly to give you a testimony of what the Lord did in her mother. So I want you to sit tuned and uh, you're going to listen to this. Um, hello, Sister Joanne. If you are on the line, you can call in right now. And um, let's hear your testimony. And God bless you. Hello. Uh, now, uh, Joanne is now on the line. She wants to tell you what the Lord has done. Yeah, because Joanne, God Hello. bless you. Yeah, people are listening. They want to hear what God has done in your household. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. I'd like to give testimony today. Um, my mom was diagnosed with cancer. She was in Bart's hospital. And the doctors actually said that, um, you know, it wasn't looking very good for my mom. And... They didn't think they should continue with treatment because um, she was not responding to any of the treatments they were doing. They sent her to St. Joseph's Hospice and they had her in the hospice and um, they basically gave up hope. I found Dr. Edmund and um, I asked for prayers because I didn't know where to turn to next. and. I only felt comfortable with the hope of Dr. Edmund's prayers and what the Lord did, he helped my mum. My mum is now at home. She's come out of the hospice. She's back in her own home. She's doing very well. She was in a wheelchair. She wasn't eating. She, wasn't, she couldn't dress herself. She was drifting in and out of consciousness. And now my mum is talking, she's alive, she knows who we all are, all the family is. She, she's dressing herself, and recently with the snowy weather, she even went out shopping with my sister to get Christmas presents for the Christmas. And that is thanks to God, thanks for the, the, the prayers through Dr. Edmund from God that my mum has been saved and she's back here with us because the doctors, they didn't think she was going to make it and she's pulled through, she's doing very well. They say she's got a fractured hip due to their cancer, but my mum is actually able to walk without her stick now. She can walk. She's still a bit weak, but she's on the road to recovery. She's done very well. She recently went for a blood test because she was having blood transfusions every week, two to three blood transfusions. She went last Friday and they done a blood test and they said her blood is fine. Thanks to God, she didn't have to have no blood transfusion. So I'm very grateful, very blessed. I'm glad that I have God in my life. I know that God is there because he's also, he's blessed me with a son and he's also blessed me with twins who are both healthy. So I want to praise God and give God the glory and thank him for sending Dr. Edmund, making the connection with me and Dr. Edmund for the prayers for my mum because I didn't feel, I, I felt I didn't feel complete without the prayers. If something was digging inside that I need to make this call, I need these prayers, and those prayers have been answered. So I thank God, and I thank Dr. Edmund for helping my mum to be who she is today. For she, she, My worst fear was that she wasn't going to see her grandchildren because she had been in hospital for over two months. And now she's out, she's seen them, she knows who they are, they know who she is, and it's just a blessing to God. Thank you. Yes, uh, Sister Joanne, God richly bless you. To be honest with you, um, the first time I heard from you, I never heard it to this extent of what God has done. Uh, the broken hip because of the virus of the cancer, that was broken and she was not going to be able to walk again because of that now she's walking your mom was sitting on the wheelchair i have no idea now she's walking and um, your mom is able to go to market for shopping what a compliment of a favorite season amen the season of jesus christ 
the season where God is visiting people and restoring lives, restoring peace to families, and they're doing wonderful and awesome miracles. Joan, I want to thank God for your family. You know, I, I want to bless the Lord for being so pleased to visit your household in the way he has just done. Now, thank you very much. And um, uh, I will hear from you again, Joan, and God richly bless you for that testimony. In the name now, of your mom Amen. will no longer go for blood transfusion because according to the doctors, when they have tested her, instead of giving her the two to three times blood transfusion every week, now they say the blood is normal. She needed no other person's blood to exist because Jesus Christ had blessed the blood and there is healing in her body. God bless you, Joan. All right, God yes. bless you indeed. Now, uh, you viewers, God bless you. I thank God for that testimony. Uh, Joan, are you still on the line? Are you still on the line, Joan? All right, I see. I wanted to ask Joan a question. The question was, have I ever seen you before? She would tell you, no, I have never seen her. You know, she called me up, you know, uh, in the name of the Lord, because she has heard that God is moving in my life, in the ministry, in the church worldwide international, right there in the kingdom, recovery church center. Now, de definitely she never called me first. She called one of the members. Yeah, I didn't have the time because, you know, we don't have, have just little time on the air to interview her. Now, when she called that man who was called Joel, and then Joel uh, spoke to her to go to the website and see if there is, if it is, I mean, um, if you may have the light to call Dr. Edmund. If you look at the website, and uh, if it says something, you can give him a call, you can give him a call. Now, she went to the website and saw what the Lord had been doing. And then she called me. And uh, I prayed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth of Galilee. And Jesus Christ moved in that family, went to the hospice, and then touched the mother that was already given up. No hope. The doctors have given up and have given her time to die. According to Joanne, if they give her time, you know, she would just die before she made that call. The Holy Ghost, the power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead, went to the hospice next to mortuary and then raised a person that was already given up hope to live because God made the life. Are you having a problem in your family? Are you having a problem at home? Are you having a problem in any part of the world? Are you having a problem here in London? Don't miss this crusade. This crusade is just for you. 31st of December. It is called the bones shall rise again. This is hope rising crusade. Your hope can never fail to be in this crusade. I'm telling you, make up your mind. Make up your mind. This is not about religion. It was no religion that healed this woman in the hospice. It was Jesus Christ. As I'm talking to you, I tell you, when that lady was giving that testimony, to be honest with you, I was feeling, I was feeling somehow right here. And anyway, before um, I pray, I start praying for you because today is a praying day. I don't want you to enjoy your merriment tomorrow uh, with uh, sickness or problems or worriness of mind. So we're going to give you a clip uh, of a testimony uh, from Germany. So I went to the German church. And when I got there, and I was, I was ministering, incidentally, there was a lady that called me uh, on phone from uh, Germany. And then I prayed to the living God, and God went to Austria and performed a miracle and rescued and restored that which she had been looking for two years ago. Now, let us get this testimony, and I'll get back to you, and God bless you. The center presents Victory Night Crusade. Fame, the bone shall rise again. Come for your total recovery from demonic oppression, barrenness of the womb, sickness. Come for your healing and total deliverance. The anointed servant of God, Apostle Edmund, shall be there in demonstration of the power of God by the Holy Ghost. Enter into the new year with new experience. Come for your joy, your miracle and testimonies. Entertainment by special music team. 
Don't wait to be told. You are most invited. For more details, please call 07878-494-903 or 07961-855-588. Come on, listen now. She called me. You, you told me that from sometimes that lady in Austria. Yeah. That been doing what? Yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, I have a friend from Cameroon for two years now. And uh, that my friend, since I enter here, and my luggage is holding everything. And it's only that I'm not having that luggage. But he knew the worth of those three luggages. He has been changing phone. Every day, change phone. I don't even know her number. We lost contact. She don't call me because my number is with her. She was running. I was praying every night. I said, God, if you know that luggage, they are my luggage. Let this lady locate me. As I was doing it, I was doing it in the Lord. I said, hey, one day I call man of God. I said, man of God, I have problems. He said, man of for two years. For two years. I call man of God. I said, man of God, I have problems. I said, I know what is inside that log. I have gold, everything there. It just, it's a result. So, when I call man of God, pray with me. He said, as I'm saying, if God is hearing me, I said, okay, I'll keep on praying. So my brother, and I give that uh, I, I call somebody. I call somebody. I say, please, can you help me look uh, look for this very girl? And you are from a Cameroon. Then later I said, okay, give me some time. Then he was looking for her. Then later I got her number. He said, you take this number and call her. Then I called her. She will not even pick my and he seen my number. She will not call me. I said, eh, that devil is a liar. Then I give it to my younger brother. I said, you go to London. Mm. Call her. Mm. My, my brother was calling her. Mm. She will call the phone and put it on my ear. She will not answer. Okay. She was doing it to then my brother not leave a very horrible uh, message that hey, he gives you some time. If you don't return those things, you see fire. And this is my uncle number. You should call my uncle as soon as possible and call me. When he saw that horrible message, the following day she could not sleep. He now mm. called my uncle and said, My uncle, uh -huh. come and carry my luggage so uh -huh. I'm here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Then I asked, okay, let me try if I can get her. I call her, she did not come. I said, my luggage, you will. It's in a little uncle, big car, come and carry it, it's not begging. So I just thank God for what he has been doing. And I thank God for man of God as swear. He's real man of God. He's not Amen. Amen. The center presents Victory Night Crusade. Fame, the bone shall rise again. Come for your total recovery from demonic oppression, barrenness of the womb, sickness. Come for your healing and total deliverance. The anointed servant of God, Apostle Edmund, shall be there in demonstration of the power of God by the Holy Ghost. Enter into the new year with new experience. Come for your joy, your miracle and testimonies. Entertainment by a special music team. Don't wait to be told. You are most invited. For more details, please call 07878-494-903 or 07961-855-588. Hello. God richly bless you. You heard all of this. It is Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. That everybody is rejoicing. Let me tell you, the primary concept of Christmas, you know, in the early time that it was introduced, was to recognize the Lord that there was a son sent from heaven, from God, out of the bosom of God that was born, to help the world 
and get us out of our deals. Many have gone to the grave before their time. What are you waiting to be told? Look at that woman you just listened to right now. That was in Germany. That was the, 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 the German branch of the church, Worldwide International. I went there. And then look at the testimony. Look at what God did there. And this is just between nose and mouth. You know what I mean? This is so close with you. Are you in London? I, I, can you fly in from Italy, from France, from Spain, from anywhere or Holland, Austria? Where are you? Where are you that you can make yourself available in this crusade? 31st of December is your day. 31st is a month. The date can never be divided by any figure. Your life is now going to be settled and never to be divided anymore by any witchcraft power. This is your day. So pick up the phone now. If you want some prayers, I'm ready to pray for you now before the time is uh, fast spent. So God bless you. Viewer, if you have been a, view, a regular viewer of the moment of recovery, uh, I tell you, uh, God richly bless you. Send those texts. Send those texts immediately. Yes. Send the text and, uh, and again, and the, the appointment line. You can see everything for yourself. And God bless you. So, because I'm ready to pray for you right now. In fact, let me begin to pray. Father Lord, I pray for any person that is watching with prejudice. I pray for anyone that is watching with double mind and doubt. I pray for anyone that is watching with a negative and a wrong impression that the power of the Holy Ghost will surprise that person. My God of heaven before whom I stand, I just give you glory because of the viewers around the world. This is their day, the day you've made. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost, because you are the living King. Now, Lord, I thank you because of the callers, the viewers, and as many as need prayer right now. Now, when I pray for you, just lay your hands on the television screen as a point of contact. God richly bless you. This is your moment. And then, before we go up, your prayer. Yes, caller, now I'm praying for you without asking any question. Father God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, I just pray because the time is fast spent. I pray that you grant that fellow deliverance and freedom, and they heal every sickness and disease that is on the body of any person that is calling right now. In Jesus' name, you are healed. Yes, you are healed. You are healed. Just believe it. Oh, yes, Lord. Now, are you also there? You need some prayers? This is your moment. Now, watch at those telephone lines on your screen and the information. Let me tell you, to come to Forest Hill is buses 122, Bus is 197, 185, 176, and again, uh, 356. Okay, caller, let me pray for you right now. Uh, what do you want God to do for you? For my marriage and my family. Yeah, for you and your family. What's your name, sir? I'm Keith. All right, what side are you calling from? Um, Southeast. Oh, so, okay, Southeast. I'm going to pray for you. Don't forget to be in... Forest Hill, 49C Devonshire Road, uh, on the 31st night, beginning from 9 a.m. It's a crusade. In fact, we have never had such a crusade where we are advertising. And the crusade is for you. When you come there, the Lord shall crusade on you. Now, let me pray for you and your family. Father, Lord, I pray that you cast away every sorrow from the family of this uh, uh, caller. I pray that the power of the Lord should come upon him. Touch your television screen right now as I'm praying as a point of contact. Father, let there be healing. And let the power of God that raised somebody and got somebody out of hospice deliver you right now and visit you right in your house. If the Lord will visit mortuary and visit hospice and visit hospitals, he can visit you. So this is your day. Receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Now you can call later after I get out of the air. And I will give you more directions. God bless you. Yes. Now, we about so actually round up now, you know, because the time is. But I can see take one more call anyway in case. Yes, of course. The, the, sorry, the, the time is past. <laughs> I told you. We are always never, never, never in cooperation with time. 
Time never compress with us. It's all over. So I'm going to pray with you right now. Okay? We are sorry we did not start, uh, you know, uh, receiving the prayers on time. But we wanted you to listen to all those testimonies you just heard. And so, Lord, I pray in the precious name of Jesus Christ, as I spread my hands forward, let there be miracle in Jesus' mighty name. Beginning from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, behold, you receive it because you asked for it. Don't fail to contact and God bless you. And then we guide you on how to come to Forest Hill. 9 p.m. next Friday. And God bless you. Now, see you there. Stay tuned every time to the moment of recovery. Right at this station at this same hour. And God richly bless you. <laughs>shall rise again come for your total recovery from demonic oppression barrenness of the womb sickness come for your healing and total deliverance the anointed servant of God Apostle Edmund shall be there in demonstration of the power of God by the Holy Ghost enter into the new year with new experience come for your joy your miracle and testimonies entertainment by special music team don't wait to be told you are most invited for more details please call 07878-494-903 or 07961-855-588 hello viewers god bless you um this is your moment of recovery and we are transmitting from the Kingdom Recovery Church Center. Uh, thank you for being the regular viewer to this uh, program. Uh, this program has been a program of testimony. You heard what happened last time we came, last Friday, when I was live. In fact, this is live event, and um, after a while, I will open the line for you. 
uh, to uh, calling for prayers. You know, don't forget that we are going into another year entirely. And that this means that we have to pray for you very seriously to get you out of every mess this year. So that all the mess against your life this year will end this year. And then from next year will be a life of message instead of mess. Because sometimes God takes your mess and then brings message to you. The Lord is able. The Lord is good. You see, by the special grace of God, um, I want to tell you something uh, which is very, very important. Now, this year has ended as the year of commandment. I don't know how you commanded your blessings to come to you. And I think you need to be trained. You need to know exactly what to do to connect with God, which many people do not know. Uh, in case you want to know your speaker, this is your regular uh, uh, television pastor, Apostle Edmund. Uh, you know, from the Church Worldwide International, transmitting from the Kingdom Recovery Church Center. In fact, we at uh, Forest Hill, uh, 49 C Devonshire Road, SE 23 3EN, and um, the bosses that come there are bosses. One, two, two, pick your pen and uh, try to write it up. Boss one two two one seven six one eight five, then one nine seven as well, and then three five six. In case you're in area of Sydney, the area of Catford, the area of uh, Lewisham, uh, Dulwich, you are on the area of, of um, I mean, uh, Brixton, uh, uh, Peckham, and so on. Now, the, the, these are the bosses that come direct there. And in fact, up to P40 brings you there. Now, in case you're watching from outside this country, London, I wish you all the blessings you wish yourself against next year. And uh, I, I, I tell you, I, I bring your best and favorite compliment of the season to you. And I believe that today you are going to be blessed. Now, listen. We have been bringing you information about the crusade that is going to take place in London today. So I've come to give you the final invitation to be there. Don't wait to be told as you had the announcer said. You know, in case you have not yet heard or maybe you have not been part of the regular viewing of the moment of recovery. I think today is your day. The day the Lord has made for you at least to be at the same way I'm talking to you. I can be talking to you directly. Now, let me give you an announcement for next year. Next year is titled the year of omission. And I want to give you some information of what the year of omission means and what it's all about and what you should be expecting next year. It is the year of omission. I'm speaking to you live. Excuse me. Don't be so baffled about that title is baffling uh, initially when you just hear the year of omission. Uh, omit, omitting what? Listen to me. The, you know, listen how it came. There are 12 months in one year. There are also uh, 12 apostles of Jesus Christ. So now these two are tied together. They are tied up together. And more so, uh, the, uh, one of them who was Judas, was omitted out of the 12. So they were left with 11 apostles. Now listen to what this means. You see, next year to your life must be minus Judas. Hallelujah. What was the duty of Judas? He was a betrayer. Judas betrayed Christ, the King of glory. But we thank God for it anyway. Because if Christ did not die for you and I, Today, there will be no talking of the word of salvation. Everybody would have been under the captivity of the devil. But you see, this generation is fantastic. That's what the Bible calls the chosen generation. You know, the generation that Jesus Christ manifested himself to save, to deal with people in love and in closeness. So, and that is it. That's why today we call on Jesus and listen. Jesus says, where two or three are gathered in my name. Now there am I in the midst of them. In my name. Not for my name's sake. Not because of my name. 
but in my name. You know, because the name of Jesus is, 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 is a home. Is the home of the saints. And that's where God lives, in that name. Listen, you know, Proverbs 18 verse 10 says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and is safe. You say, knowing the name of Jesus cannot give you salvation. It doesn't really mean anything to know the name of Jesus. Let me tell you. You see, much prayers cannot give you salvation. Uh, no, I, I'm coming again. Uh, just hold the line. Now, another thing is, except you come into the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus says, I am the door by me. If anybody enters in, he shall be saved. This is simple. So how do you come into the name of Jesus is what you need to know. Now, however, we have a crusade tonight. This, I'm telling you, comes up in prophetic Bible studies every Tuesday. And sometimes on recovery hours every Friday. In fact, these two days in the week, you know, begin at 7 p.m. Prophetic Bible study and the recovery hour. Tuesday and Friday, 7 p.m. prompt. And then recovery hour is a time you expect nothing but to be recovered. You know, I told you last time about recovery. Recovery has to do with three things. In fact, it's the thought of the three. Listen, you have to uncover what is hidden. That's true. Now, the next thing is to discover. When you uh, uncover, then you can discover. And that is true. Like the Bible, when you cover up the Bible, you can't get anything. But when you uncover the Bible, then you can discover something. The Word of God. Then another thing is to recover by your discovery. This is the will of God for your life. Now, the business of the church is to guide you to the Lord Jesus Christ and as your Lord and Savior. And then to bring you to the awareness of the sort of love that you are not aware of. The love that God has for you. He said, for God so loved the world. You know what love is? This love is without spot and wrinkle. God's love is without limit. You see, he loved the world, and which we are part of the world. Well, God bless you. Uh, let's take this clip, and we'll get back to you as the Lord blesses you. In November, April, my senior died. April. The same one, another one died in December. So since then, I started seeking Leave me every time. I'll be going to hospital and we say it's fine for them. You treat me and we go. Since then, so somebody invited me that let me come to bed so I will see the new apple. What God will do in my life today. I said today I will attend this fellowship. So you believe you will not die as those two of your sisters? You are made free this night from the spirit of death. That's right. That's right. That is, you will be delivered from death. Right? Smart. Oh, the power of God. Go right in. You can restore any particle and any covenant of death in this body. And now is the final. Come. Out! <laughs> Center presents Victory Night Crusade. Fame, the bone shall rise again. Come for your total recovery from demonic oppression, barrenness of the womb, sickness. Come for your healing and total deliverance. The anointed servant of God, Apostle Edmund, shall be there in demonstration of the power of God by the Holy Ghost. Enter into the new year with new experience. Come for your joy, your miracle and testimonies. Entertainment by a special music team. Don't wait to be told. You are most invited. For more details, please call 07878-494-903 or 07961-855-588. Hello, viewers. Um, God bless you. Welcome again to the moment of recovery. In fact, that's what it's all about. I will soon be praying for you. 
I know, let me tell you, last time I told you not to um, uh, worry yourself. You know, last time, that's what I said. I said, you shouldn't worry yourself. Uh, that's what I said. Uh, because when I am preaching, I don't even want you to uh, call, but uh, today is the door prayer. Just wait a little bit. I will soon begin to receive the call. You will see studio number on the screen. Listen, you don't need to believe me. You need to believe Jesus Christ. Yeah, you were here last Sunday, I mean the last uh, Friday. You heard of the, the woman that was in the hospice. They never believed me. They believed in Jesus Christ. They only phoned me to call Jesus Christ. Then I call on Jesus Christ, whom we all believed. And Jesus Christ went to the hospice. This is about under three weeks now. And healed the woman. She got up from the hospice. You had the testimony here on Friday. You had it. If we didn't hear it, be in the crusade tonight. In fact, the announcement you just had is about the Victory Night Crusade. Victory Night Crusade. It is titled, The Bone Shall Rise Again. It is happening at, at, the, uh, uh, for, at Forest Hill, at the uh, Kingdom Recovery Church Center. That's where you are needed tonight. Tonight is been on, it's been on the air uh, since the month. In, in, informing people, I tell you, be the number one to know. Be number one to be there. Hello, what am I inviting you for? Why am I inviting you? I'm inviting you for your own good. Listen, I'm a freelance apostle, evangelist. I preach in churches and I build, God has given me the grace to build up denominations for Christ. So when I come to your church, I, I, I tell you, you, you can't believe what will happen. Things will turn around and I will never invite anybody from your church to my church because I don't have particular church. Let me tell you what happened. We have so many pastors for your information. You viewers, whether you're a minister or a member, praise the Lord for your life. I just love you. This is Apostle Edmund. Copy what I'm saying and quote me right. We have so many pastors. In fact, we have more than 50 pastors on this very earth. And so what, we, what I do as an apostle is to have the freedom to reach God's people, wherever they are, and build up the house of God. Every church I want to say is the house of God. Jesus was going from denomination to, or from synagogue to synagogue and saving people. And that's it. There are so many places where people are not doing well. When I come there, <laughs> by the spirit of the Lord, with the glory and the presence of the Lord, we shall praise God together. Now listen. This is minus Judas I'm saying to you. The next year coming on your way at the door in a few hours from now is minus Judas, minus trouble, minus uh, 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 that is a, circumstances, minus unsuccessfulness, minus disease, minus death. It is the year of omission. The year on your way, the next year is the year of omission. It's the year of omission. Praise the Lord. You see, it is very important you understand that this year coming is the year of your breakthrough. The year that the devil will leave you alone. The year that the devil will get out of your house. The year the devil will leave your husband for you. Leave your children for you. The year things will turn around. It is a wonderful year. Listen, there is no figure to divide 11. No figure. Of course, you talk of 2010, praise God. But you also talk of the 2011, there's no figure to divide it. So quick means what God is doing with you next year, it can, must be undivided, must be indivisible. That's what I'm saying to you. Now, God bless you. Now, we, we, uh, what am I saying again? This is uh, uh, the, the Kingdom Recovery Church Center. This is your Apostle Edmund. And we are bringing information to you concerning the crusade that will take place tonight. Yes. Uh, please, um, I hope you're listening very well. And again, by God's grace, I want to say to you that the hour has come again for you to receive your blessing. What sickness do you have that refuses to go? 
In fact, I just pray for somebody with portrait cancer. You come in there tonight, you see a lot of testimonies. It is from 9 o'clock. It is a crusade. It's all night crusade. You are going to wake up in the new day. The new day with the new year. Praise the name of the Lord. I give you praise, O oh Lord, concerning the people that are watching. Begin to hear them. Can you put your hand right on your screen right now? Let me pray for you. In a second, I want to give you a sign. Now put your hands on your, on, on your television. God bless you as you do that. Now, Father God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this listener today. And I pray that you help him and help her heal that, that unstoppable sickness, heal that unstoppable headache, heal that cancer, heal the high blood pressure, heal everything healable. Oh! In Jesus' mighty name, you have it. So God bless you. Now, today is a day you've, uh, the Lord has made. Put your hands on your head again. Let me pray for you. Father God Almighty, I rebuke every cancer in that head, that brain tumor, I cast you out. That high blood pressure, I cast you out in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because he's healed in Jesus' name. What a day. Now, what uh, we're going to do next is, I want to say, uh, please, if now you can freely call uh, the studio line. Because we need to pray for you and to prepare your life against next year. Oh, today is your day. Praise God. Hallelujah. All right. So, you are free to call right now. Glory be to God. Now, as I was saying, in, for example, in this crusade we are going to have tonight is the same crusade where a woman that was barren for 11 years, you know, received her baby from the Lord. It was the same crusade a, a crusade before that, somebody that swallowed poison, you know, and uh, a, a, a witch doctor gave him poison, and he never knew he, he has swallowed a, a millipede. And the millipede began to bite all over his body until he resigned from military. And before you know it, there was a tremendous miracle because somebody invited him to the crusade. Listen, I'm not inviting only you and your family to the crusade, but both you, your neighbors, and your friends. Yes. God bless you. Now, we can show you a clip now that if, if you're not yet ready for the prayer, we show you a clip at the advert for the crusade once again. God bless you. The center presents Victory Night Crusade. Fame the bone shall rise again come for your total recovery from demonic oppression barrenness of the womb sickness come for your healing and total deliverance the anointed servant of god apostle edmund shall be there in demonstration of the power of god by the holy ghost enter into the new year with new experience come for your joy your miracle and testimonies entertainment by a special music team don't wait to be told. You are most invited. For more details, please call 07878-494-903 or 07961-855-588. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Uh, I want to invite you again to this victory night crusade. This victory night crusade is coming up from 9 o'clock today, today, today. So if you are outside London, we shall be covering you in prayers. Uh, all our viewers and uh, all our callers around the world, we shall be covering you up. But if you will call right now, I will also pray for you. Because we don't have so much time when it will come to the air. Praise God, today is a special day. The day the Lord will cure up diseases and take away problems, and release miracles and blessings. Praise the name of the Lord, because it is fantastic. It's going to be a very fantastic place. God bless you. Now, the way to, to the place is very simple. Just join your bus or train, a British Rail to Forest Hill Station, or any of the buses, 122, uh, 176, 197, yep, 185, also, bus 40 comes very close there. Now, one, uh, 356 as well comes to the station as well. So God richly bless you. And uh, we look forward to hearing from you. 
And now for prayers. Amen. God bless you with Kola. Hello, Kola. Hello. Yes, what do you want the Lord to do for you, please? Uh, myself, I've got pain all over my body, especially on the spine. And I've got, you know, things which, you know, I usually get problems when I'm sleeping, you know, like things which, you know, press me in the night, like fighting me, like, you know, things that I, I can't even explain them. And all right. But problems, you know, money problems, all the things are not going well for me. Oh, dear. All right. Uh, where are you calling from, please? I'm calling from Doncaster. All right. Now, can you lay your hands on, uh, uh, you know, on your body? Let me pray for you. You can lay one hand on television. Uh, if you have hands free or if it's mobile, just lay hands on your body and use the other one to hold your phone. And while I pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God, this lady, you know her name. I'm not ready to take her name because her name is with you. You know the day you uh, allowed her into her mother's womb. Now the devil has sent pain. I declare minus pain. I declare her life minus pain. Because we are going into the year of omission. Let every pain in her life be omitted. Minus Judas. Minus Judas. The spirit of betrayal. The betraying disease. I command you to lose. In Jesus name. By the stripe of Jesus you are healed. And the Lord blesses you. Now, things are happening very well for you now. Just begin to believe it. And rub your hands there. And begin to say, thank you, Jesus. And that's your miracle. That's your victory. In fact, I pray simple prayers. All the testimonies you have. Uh, hundreds of testimonies. I, I don't know what I pray. But I know I consult with Jesus Christ. Especially when we don't have time. I pray urgently. God bless you. Uh, if another caller, if, if you are on the line, you are free to call right now. In case the line is jammed, keep on trying. The Lord will help you. The Lord will help you. The Lord says we should help one another in prayer, you know? And uh, we also enjoy doing that for you. Not because I know you, not because you are ready to know me, but because we, you and I, are ready to know Jesus. Hallelujah. So God bless you. So you are free. We still we'll have some few seconds to go. Uh, we can see, take that line. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, again, if you are in Germany, uh, we advise you to go to Bonstrasse, uh, you know, 28 Bonstrasse, uh, right there in the downtown uh, in Germany. Of course, yes. Uh, tonight is a very serious night in that branch. Now, if you are in Uppsala in Sweden, we advise you to go to uh, Tungrasse. Uh, that's fantastic. It's going to happen there tonight. But we here in London as well, praise the name of the Lord, I, I tell you, it's fantastic. Now, if you're in Nigeria, uh, of course, you know, in Lagos, you have so many branches. You have uh, more than 30 branches in, in Lagos alone. Uh, if you're in Benin City, Port Harcourt, uh, Abuja, uh, and all these places, Abba, come on now, somebody. Now you can be there. God bless you. And tonight, you shall be blessed. And whatever you are, if you are in Spain, in Paris, uh, we, we praise God for your life. Uh, we, we are always ready to listen to you. And God will richly bless you. This is a serious crusade. Don't take things light as I just sit down lightly. You think because I'm not a good orator, I cannot talk uh, so much. I'm telling you, that's not it. Just come there and see what Jesus will do for you. So that you can have a testimony. Yes, caller, if you're on the line, yeah, you, you can now call. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hello? Yes, what's your name, please? Uh, my name is Sipe. Uh, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Doncaster. Yeah, okay. Somebody just called from there. Are, are you uh, related to someone who just called from there? Yes. Okay. Okay, go on. Tell me, what do you want God to do for you? I'll just pray for you straight away. Okay, I um, just want to pray for marriage and uh, for my studies. Pass my studies. Yeah, say that again. I, 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 I'm, I'm believing God for marriage. Okay, fantastic. The Lord is going to do it for you. Yeah, the plan of God is that you as a lady will marry. There are many obstacles that block marriage today from ladies married, beautiful ladies. All these are spirits on the water. 
spirits of the, the, the defunct supernatural. I am inviting you. Of course, you, you may not come. Uh, from that countryside. Otherwise, today would have been your day in the recovery center. That's a real crusade. Now, Father God Almighty, Mikoto Satabaha Kindro Mahaya, Eke Sendo I bind all the power of the devil over that very woman. They blockade the obstacle, the hindrance, blocking her way not to see good. I declare next year we are stepping into within few hours to become the year of omission in her life. Lack of marriage shall be omitted in her life. Misfortune shall be omitted in her life. Bad luck shall be omitted. Now receive your blessing in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now we are beginning to round up. Of course, you know, time is never on our side. We are rounding up now. I want to give you a general prayer. Uh, once again, the crusade tonight, the bond shall rise again, is fantastic. We invite you to be there tonight, tonight uh, at the Forest Hill, London. If you're not able to fly in, fine. Those of you in London, this is an opportunity that you don't need to be told. And let me pray for you. Father God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I want to thank you for the viewers today. I want to thank you for uh, keeping them at the same where they're listening. I want to thank you, oh God, for what you are doing. I want to thank you for your kindness and goodness. I want to thank you for your favor. Let your name and name only be glorified. Thank you, Holy Ghost, because you are hearing, you are answering my prayer. Unto the be the glory. They are blessed in Jesus' name. Well, until next time, I want to thank you for keeping this time with us. Uh, here every uh, uh, Friday, this channel, this same channel. Now we shall be with you again uh, with greater information. Maybe to show you some clips of what the Lord did in this crusade. If you are there, it's the best. Be there tonight. 9 p.m. God richly bless you. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. <laughs>
Uh, by the special grace of God, I thank you for being on the, uh, you know, on board at this time because I know you remark this time of the moment of recovery. Uh, maybe you have been from Zimbabwe, you have been from Tanzania, from Malawi, from Gambia, from Sierra Leone, Cameroon, Nigeria, Ghana, Equatorial Guinea. In fact, you have been from Europe, London, Italy, uh, name them, Spain, everywhere. I welcome you in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you and make this moment a useful moment for you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, today, I have something to deal with you. I believe God has sent me to your way to bring a blessing to you. I have come as a human angel. I have gone out, but you are busy with the television. You can never remain the same. But let me give you an instruction. Please try to abide by this instruction. I have a rule, and the rule is one hour's time before you call, except maybe the last few minutes before I, I pray for the public. But all the whole text, you will see the text line, you will see the appointment line, you will see the recovery line. Yes, those ones, you will call them in one hour's time. Or you can send your text as soon as the message is going on. But notwithstanding, the studio line will be open after some times, and I will pray for a few that have the privilege. Now, you're most welcome. Once again, this is your moment of recovery, transmitting from the Kingdom Recovery Church Center of the Church Worldwide International. In fact, your Empowerment Sunday continues next week or this very Sunday. Next Sunday, Empowerment Service continues. Now, before I share something with you right now, now, what, what, what is it that made them surprised about your blood? What were they surprised about? I was surprised my, my blood shouldn't be like that. So it was unheard of, it's impossible. And there's something, like, something wrong with me. They, they wanted to do more blood test. Uh, this can't be normal. I'm sick or something. Something would be wrong with me. They wanted more blood test if I was wrong with me. I think I'm fine. I feel, I feel great. I'm okay. I feel good. I'm for the first time in months. I'm happy. I'm, I'm, free. I'm free of pain. I'm free of pain. It's incredible. I don't know how to, I don't know how to describe it to understand what I'm trying to say to you, what sickle cell pain was like. But for months, I'm free of pain. So. Um, hello, viewers. I, I'm very glad that you are part of this program, and uh, I think uh, probably you will be having some mixed feelings about what Jesus Christ can do. You're welcome to the moment of recovery, and this, this is what it's all about, what Jesus Christ does. He comes to recuperate our lives, to bring in changes where all hope is lost. But now I still have a question for her. But let me ask you this question. What makes you feel, what, what are the deep, apart from you being free of pains? Now, sure, okay, you're free of pains. Now, what are all the kind of, some kind of significant Changes, all that kind of changes you feel. I mean, what couldn't you do before that you now do? No, before I could not, I couldn't bend and touch my toe. I couldn't squat. I couldn't do anything. But now I can do that now. But I, that, 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 that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she, she knew. I mean, she, she knew what I was like. I was like a cripple. I could sometimes I could hardly move from my bed. I could hardly walk. She's helping me up the stairs and things like that. But now I can bend. I can do. I can do. I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. I'm happy. But I was so miserable before, but I'm not anymore. That's so, wonderful. That is, you can bend. I can bend. Now, can you please? And this happened all your life? All my life. Since I was born, I was this, I was this I was when I was 13 years old. I started my transmission when I was 16 years old. Now I'm 27 years old since I've been going through this. So, for the first time in years in my life, for months now, for the first few months, I've been free. It's, my family is like telling me, what's wrong with you? You look so different. I tell them I'm going to tell them everything. 
Did you know I'm doing a cult or something? I'm cult, tell me, I'm not I'm doing a cult, they wash me into thinking I'm healed. That's what my cult said to me. A cult, huh? Yeah. <laughs> because I was so angry with her. I don't think she knows that Jesus does that kind of thing. I don't know, I don't think she does that. Yes, you see, that's the reason why you are telling uh, the viewers there yeah. exactly what Jesus Christ done you know, has done for you. Yes. Uh, because there are so many who do not know. So I met a woman with cancer out there and the woman said to me that uh, she wouldn't want to be healed of cancer because she wouldn't uh, like to be too old the old people are so vulnerable she likes the cancer so that she will die quickly no i don't want that no thank you <laughs> <laughs> all right and you see what is there is it i was trying to ask you a question which you already answered i was trying to ask if any of your relatives, any of the people that know you, apart from this witness, oh, you yeah, have an idea. Oh yeah, I'm trying to get them to come to service one day and I get a full test because they can meet on my family. Yeah. And, has, and they can see the testimony too. All my life used to be like before I came here. Now, do, 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 do you think that when they come here as well with you, as you are intending to get them along, yeah, that they could, as at the same time, say what they know about you? Yes, I can get them. They can do that. Yes, yes. That's one. All right, viewers, God richly bless you. In fact, the clip you just watched was a lady that was born a secular. This sort of miracle, he says, tell no man, see that you tell nobody. So I will tell you, tell nobody. Tell nobody what you saw. But you see, those that knew the lady, to be honest with you, they, uh, they, 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 they were confused. They went knew that the power of God, the presence of God was there, and the anointing of God was so rich on me as it is at this moment. End of cell, only one touch, Jesus touched her, the touch of anointing. Now, see, before we go into connecting with the mind of Christ, now listen, I'm going to read for you from the book of Philippians. If you have your Bible, turn with me. If you don't have your Bible, just listen. The Bible says here, let this mind be in you. Quick was also in Christ Jesus. Let this mind be in you. Quick was also in Christ Jesus. Can you imagine? Do you see the provision God made for you? That the mind, the same mind in Christ should be the mind in you. Now, listen. What is the meaning of mind in the first place? Mind is the intellectual faculty, you know, placed by God in the temples of the head. There is a temple in the head. And more so, uh, the, 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 the mind retains and uh, uh, recollects memories. It intends and makes choices. It mind controls the psyche. Now, the mind of Christ. Listen to what God did. Who is Christ in the first place? The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the one that raised the dead from the dead. I mean, the one that healed the deaf, healed the blind, and they began to see again, speak, and hear. And again, he raised the cripple, cast out demons. You know, and uh, he wants to take over your life. Now, listen to that. So, this Jesus Christ died. Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. Who is this Jesus Christ? The man that came from heaven. The only begotten son of God. The redeemer. The sanctifier. The commander of the holy angels. He is called the, the Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end, the first and the last. He was, he is, and he is to come again. That is this Jesus. Now, do you know that if you don't read the Bible, you will never know the provision made for you. You will remain vulnerable every day. You will remain very vulnerable, very sensitive, and uh, you will always remain a, a, a victim. Because you don't know the provision God has made for you in the Bible. You will fall into the hands of many dangerous people that are bringing down the names of pastors and the names of the churches and Christianity. Because you do not read the Bible.
and you went to school, you studied A, B, C, D, but the Bible you wouldn't read, but you know every, many stories about God, about pastors, about men of God, about churches. You know the size of, uh, of oils in the bottle. You know the sizes of uh, special uh, miracle water. You know the, all these rituals, but you don't know anything in the Bible that will empower you. Listen, I've come to empower you today. Listen, receiving the mind of Christ, the mind of Christ. When God gave you Christ, he asked you to open your heart. Jesus says, as many as receive him, he gave them power to become the sons of God. He gave them power if you receive him. In John 3, 16 says, they will not perish, but they will have everlasting life. Whosoever will believe in him and receive him will not perish, but have everlasting life. This Jesus Christ wants to come into you with everything, with his mind, with his blood, with his uh, hand, with his legs, with his eyes, with his ears, with everything. He is coming into you complete to empower your mind. You see, so the mind which you have is made to be subject to the mind of Christ. Now, you see, you have mind, I have mind, everybody has mind. Now, but there is a mind God has prepared for mankind's deliverance. So if you are to be saved, it is not going to be with your mind because our minds have been polluted. Our minds have been corrupted. It has done many wrong things in this life. We can never enter the kingdom of God because we have human minds. These minds are naturally intelligent. They can, you, can, you can have PhD and PH everything. You can have every knowledge. You can have all wealth and riches. You can have all wisdom. It, it will never make you see the kingdom of God. That's why Jesus says, not all that call my father, my father, shall see the kingdom of God, but they that do the will of my father who is in heaven. He said, many shall come unto me in that very day and shall say, did we not do miracle in your name? Did we not preach in your name? Did we not fast and pray in your name? I will tell them, I never know you. They were never shortlisted. Listen, why? Because they lack the qualities that God gave to Christ to bring to you. You need the mind of Christ. The mind of Christ reasons differently. Let me show you what uh, the mind of Christ works in Philippians 2. Let me see from verse 2. It reads and says, Fulfill ye my joy that you be like-minded, like-minded, like-minded. Now listen to this again. Having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind, let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem the other better than himself no pride nothing look at it in verse 4 look not every man on his own thing but every man on the things of the others let not it be done in vain glory you see the mind of christ has no pride the mind of christ has no foolishness let me tell you the meaning of mindless mindless is ignorance or stupid mindless one that minds nothing it is careless he doesn't care for anything at all. He's just living like that, like the wind. That is not the plan of God for your life. You see, uh, by, the, by the way, you, you can see what we are seeing here. So the, 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 the Lord Jesus came to recreate you. That is the meaning of born again, to be recreated so that you reason in the same direction. That is to say, the Lord will be your reasoning. You cannot reason outside the standard of God. Today, why are there divisions among believers? It's because of different reasonings that never agree with each other. Because there are many different minds reading the Bible, have every knowledge of God. Let me tell you, it is very dangerous that you go about rituals. Instead of knowing the scriptures, you know what I'm saying to you? You don't know where Philippians is in the Bible. You don't know where Ephesians is in the Bible. You don't know John 1.12. You don't know John 3, 16. You don't know John 1, 1. You don't know Mark 3, verse 38. You don't know some scriptures that will empower you. You see, let me tell you, the power of knowledge is the mind. 
The power of intelligence is the mind. So the mind of Christ is what God has brought to substitute to give you the power to overcome your circumstances. Now let me tell you something. The disease or sickness in you is under your mind. Now, with your mind, you are bigger than your metabolism. You are bigger than your blood. You are bigger than fibroid. You are bigger than heart attacks. God filled all of us the same day inside, only to be reproduced gene after gene, until the world has populated today. But when you were in the Lord, you were just a breath. The Lord told Jeremiah, before I formed you in, your, in the belly, in your mother's womb, I knew you. Think about that, please. The same thing with you. I'm not talking to Jeremiah, I'm talking to you. I mean, you who have been lying down under depression and suppression and rejection. You are bigger. There is a way God is looking at you. I want to wake up the giant in you, but I kill it. Because giant is an obstacle. Giant is a hindrance. It's a hurdle. You see? So the plan of God is to get you saved. But it's with your mind, you'll be bigger. You will suppress everything that is in you. No matter what that sickness is, you are bigger than that. Why? Because the Christ mind that is in you is bigger than every circumstance. When he went to the grave of Lazarus, who died and was buried four days ago. Well, he raised him up. But before he raised him, Martha, the sister to the late Lazarus, was saying, no, no. By this time, he'll be stinking because he's four days away. You see, her mind was the human mind. It has limitations. The mind of Christ has no limitations. That's why the Lord said, because I have a weak mind, weak mind so the lord knows our weaknesses he knows our damages and that's why he sent christ to bring everything that is in christ into you so that you'll be born again you become a child of god such are dead that are born of the spirit that which is born of the flesh is flesh the one born of the spirit is spirit that's what the lord says so through the special grace of god i want you to be delivered your deliverance is right there with you inside you it's only for you to open up and say jesus come into me let me tell you when you are empowered you have immunity because there is a spiritual drug in you listen how many times this jesus the lord says that's the mind i, prov I provided for you how many times have you heard that jesus was sick and jesus was in the hospital and jesus was complaining and jesus was looking for help let me tell you, your help has come. You are going to become a helper from today. Listen, program. And then you will call. I will pray for you, and I will see whether you are ready to serve the Lord. Many are not ready to serve the Lord. They only just phone and get prayer, and that's all. Even if Satan sits here, and they I tell you, they can just say, pray for me. They just need prayer. They just need prayer. That's not it. You need to be born again. You need Christ in you. And then Christ is the one that prays without ceasing. He prays without ceasing. He prayed all the time. Of course, yes. And as a result of that, if Christ comes inside you, you become a prayer gogo. Now let me show you 1 Corinthians chapter 2, in verse 16, which is the last verse of that very book. My Bible is here. Now jot it down, please. 1 Corinthians 2, 16. For who had known the mind of Christ, mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him. But we have the mind of Christ. This is an instruction. The, that is to say, don't say you are born again when you have not received the mind of Christ. Listen, the mind of Christ is the mind of love. The mind of Christ is the mind of peace. The mind of Christ is the mind of innocency. Innocency. Listen, we are created in innocence. The state of innocence. When sin came, we fell into the dispensation of conscience. So, right now, we have many things worry our conscience. We are worried over many things because we have not been restored to innocency. The mind of Christ, the Bible says he knew no sin. Jesus healed her. Jesus will do the same thing for you. The, 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 the miracle is right now here. Because these are the days of evangelism. These are evangelical days. 
We, we, you know, when you receive Jesus, when you get the good news, just as it was in the early days, you tell one another about Jesus Christ. But when Jesus heals you, everybody will know that you are healed. When you are delivered, everyone will know you are delivered. Yes. So if, uh, uh, by the grace of God, we are almost running out of time, if uh, maybe you've been, because the line has been jammed for some times, now the line is open for a, a minute or two uh, for me to pray with you straight away. Then I will pray with you after one hour, I'll begin to discuss with you. There is, pro you are your problem. Many people are their problems. The problem is the defeat of your mind, the defeat of your mentality. That is the problem. That's the problem. Now, it's going to be an exchange. You are going to tell the Lord. Now, speak with me. Say, Lord Jesus, take over my mind. Release your mind into my, into my temple. Remember that you said, I am the temple of the Holy Ghost. So, Lord, release your mind into my temple. Release your mind into my temple. From this day, I don't want to move according to my own ways. My ways are full of fears. Help me, Lord. Let your mind enter now. I receive it. Somebody shout that. I receive it in Jesus' name. Listen, our minds are full of defeat and fears. Fears. When uh, stories of witchcraft comes, you fear. Anything that comes, you fear. Anything that comes, you fear. You know all religious rituals, but you don't know the word of God to empower your life. That Bible in your house, it's time for you to wake it up. It is time for the Bible to be useful to you. It is time for you to be happy. Now God bless you. I'm about to pray with you. Straight away. Open your hands. Because we don't do without praying for you. Don't forget this is your Apostle Edmund. From the Kingdom Recovery Church Center. Of the Church Worldwide International. We're transmitting from London. To the whole world. And God bless you. Let me pray. Father God Almighty. In the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray for these individuals who have been watching. All this while, those who have sent texts, those who have sent, you know, who are called on the studio line and those who have called on the mobiles, I pray that you help them, anoint them, get them prepared. Oh God, it is time to empower their mind. Their victory is in them. They don't know. Their success is in them. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen and God richly bless you. Ah, uh, God bless you. Uh, we'll come ag again on your way, to your way, I mean, uh, from this same studio, at this same channel, at this same time. It's always, you know, Western time of this season, 12 o'clock, GMT. And God bless you. Amen and amen. <laughs>